Voilà, Dakar. Jurassic World's most 
Please remain in the boat and stay close.
Yeah, it's good.
This is good. But tell the Fario, add more dynamite. I want a bigger boom. Okay. You did it here. Anyway, yes, you will be turned into minions. Neil Tinder will get spiked. Hey, don't be scared. You're gonna be okay. Uh, not all of Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Can we take one home? Uh, uh. set us up as the strangest place on earth. His words in the early press for the studio. We are Universal City, California. That stage was opened up in 1929 for a movie musical called Broadway. It's over 29,000 square feet and was built back in, I just said that, in 1929. And the first one is here in our Metropolitan sets. And not as a uh, spoiler, not giving anything away, just as an example, so you have the visual, the brownstone apartments on your left side, those are Buffalo, New York, and Bruce Almighty. They could literally film the entire sequence of their day in one spot. And all we really need to do is just pan the camera just a little bit. So let's say we got a character who lives in this brownstone building. Uh, they come out of their apartment, they come down the stairs, and oh my god, they got perfect parking that day? I oh, love it. Hop in their car, drive around the corner, we call cut. And then they bring that car and they pull out right in front of their uh, place of business. And oh my god, they found perfect parking right again, right in front of their business? Amazing! They par uh, park here, head inside the building, and then we call cut. And then later in the day, let's say they go to, um, let's say this is happening in New York, and they're going to go to Central Park for lunch. So then we're going to show a establishing shot, an overview of New York City, an overview of Central Park, and then we're going to open right over here. They've got a nice picnic all set up, and uh, you're like, yeah, of course, they live in New York, they live over to, uh, to Central Park for their lunch, and we call cut. Now this is the fun part of the tour for uh, the kids and the dads, because y'all can touch stuff. So if you want, go ahead and tap on the bricks. Yeah, tap on the walls. It's one thing for me to tell you that everything's fake. It's another thing for you to confirm for yourself. Uh, you can even see the paint is peeling. Yeah, super lightweight materials. Now I know it looks like it, but this is not the alley that uh, Spider-Man and Mary Jane Watson had their upside down kiss. However, this is the alleyway in which Spider-Man uh, lost his powers and dropped into a dumpster. Yeah, we did have another kiss that was featured here. Again, from my favorite romantic comedy, Gone Girl. This is where they filmed the sugar kiss, okay? Now we are gonna head right over here. I wanna show you all something. Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. So here's the thing, friends. All those people in the classic studio tour, you're probably going to see them throughout our day. They, uh, they think you're famous. <laughs> okay. We call this area Courthouse Square because of that film. Uh, the very first episode of The Twilight Zone. They filmed here as well. 
for gremlins. This was Kingston Falls. Ah. Now this whole area was all snowy. Yeah. yeah. They brought in fake snow for that. Yeah. Um, and of course it was used for Back to the Future. Um, we transformed this area into 1960s Baltimore for Hairspray Live, starring Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award winner Jennifer Hudson. It was so cute when this was Hairspray Live because they had bright pinks, purples, blues, greens. It was absolutely adorable. Chase. In Nacho Libre, this is where Nacho eats the 
They used it in episodes of Community, Shameless, The Mentalist, The Rest of Development, True Blood, Westworld. Anybody watch Westworld? In the first season, the town of Pariah, the like other area they go to, uh, this is a chunk of Pariah. So when HBO was out here filming, they rented this out, they put a big blackout curtain. So you couldn't see what was going on inside. Because everybody was naked. And you couldn't show that to the general public rolling by on the outside. So, we also weren't allowed to talk about it while they were here. They were very hush-hush about it. Okay. This area is what we call Six Points. Six Points got its name during the silent film era because we originally had six different streets. Six Points that all met in the town square that was initially sort of here on your left where the blue trim saloon <laughs> Smells like Home Depot. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Almost every... So everything in here, uh, you've obviously got some plastic wrap over parts of it because once the strikes wrap up, whenever that finally happens, they're obviously hoping to be able to come back in and jump into production on their third season. They haven't started airing the second season yet, but they have filmed the second season. Hey, David. He's a police diver. I talked to him a little bit earlier today, and I was like, hey, I got a really cool crew. I want to know if I can bring them over to Amity Island. It's heating up a little bit. Do you mind if you take a little bit? And he was like, uh, yeah, you know, it's not too big of a problem. Yeah, I was talking to him about that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There is another shark in the water. Just to ship it to the Universal Backlog. Because they didn't have Amazon Prime back then. 